Last year in Massachusetts, there were approximately 40,000 confirmed cases of child abuse and neglect. Now, this translates into one in 34 children confirmed as abused or neglected. It means there is one confirmed case every 15 minutes, which is approximately the time it takes to read your child one more bedtime story. Now, locally, the Children's Trust is on a mission to stop child abuse in Massachusetts by working with over 100 of the most effective family support agencies to provide services that help children and families thrive. Now, on Wednesday, November 30th, the Children's Children's Trust will be hosting their Evening of Promise, which is a benefit to raise funds for their work in preventing child abuse. Now, during this evening, they will also be honoring Yvonne Garcia, known for her work as National Chairwoman of Alpha, which is the leading National Association of Latino Professionals of America, which we focused here on Urban Update before. To give us greater details on the work of Children's Trust and the event, joining us this morning is Susan Bartley. She is the Executive Director of Children's Trust and honoree Yvonne Garcia, who during the day is a Senior VP and, glo and Global Head of Client Solutions of the Investment Manager Services Group for State Street Corporation. Welcome to Urban Update. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm excited. I have November 30th on my agenda. I guess I have to be there too now. I think so. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Um, I tried to give a little overview of the organization, but I know you probably do a much better job. How do you describe what you do and why you do in the community? What we're really looking to do is to partner with parents to make sure they have the skills and the confidence they need to ensure that children are raised in safe and healthy environments. We all know that parenting is the toughest job we take on. Kids drive us crazy. We want to get in there early and make sure that parents have a whole toolbox. And that's, that's really what we do. Now, I'm going to ask Yvonne, how, how did you come in contact? I know you're very active in the community, but this particular organization, and, and, and why has it become so special to you? Well, initially, uh, one of the board of directors reached out to me to inform me that I was a finalist um, as an honoree for their event, um, Evening of Promise, on November 30th. And I was very humbled. Former honorees have been the mayor, the governor, um, Senator Cohen. So I was extremely humbled to be in their presence. But more importantly, what really touched my heart was to understand and to become aware of all of the cases of child abuse in Massachusetts. You know, to your point, uh, over 40,000 cases just last year alone and that's just unacceptable and we have to do something as a community to prevent that. Now Susan is this uh, also to raise awareness I know it's to raise funds but I think this is one of those things that people you know they, they get a surprise a little surprise when they start to hear those kind of statistics that this is happening here in Massachusetts. It is happening here in Massachusetts and I think what we focus on is those crises and those you know the baby Bella situations but in fact there are over a hundred thousand reports every single year but we know we can do better. We know we can stop child abuse before it happens. We're very lucky. We have one program for first-time parents, 21 and under, and Tufts University's evaluation shows they're less likely to engage in risky behavior, uh, less likely to use corporal punishment, and those young moms are going back to school, finishing college, they're able to move on and be successful parents. Absolutely. Yvonne, have you kind of learned anything new uh, that maybe you didn't, I mean, you might have aware of the organization, but something that maybe has caused you to, to say, wow. Well, I certainly was surprised by the statistics and, um, you know, and saddened by it. Uh, you know, when, when children go through abuse, it not only affects the child and the family members, but it really impacts our entire community. And when you, when you think about a child who has gone through such trauma, it impacts their, their ability to grow into, um, you know, into great adults. It impacts their ability to perform well in school. And then from an ec economic perspective, it actually hurts our economy as well. It's the average cost for a child who goes through abuse, who has to go through a very costly education and social programs, is about two hundred ten thousand dollars per victim. So, from from every single perspective, it's just uh, very um, disheartening, and we need to do something. All right, well, let's do something. Let's let people know about the event. I know it's November thirtieth. We have some information. I think we even have some photos. Now, I love the flyer. It's a beautiful logo. We've got that up there. So, save the date. That's coming up on Wednesday, November thirtieth. This is photos from previous years. It looks like a beautiful oh. kind of, yeah. Yeah, we've got the website up there, but we've got a little preview of, uh, does that how kind of little room's going to look? We had Marty Walsh there. We had Marty. <laughs> yeah, we have Marty. And I, I know the young lady on the right. Yes, and on the left is our vice chair, um, Ryan Hutchins from Gilbane. Absolutely. We had to give him a little shout out. And yeah. then maybe next year when you come back here, it'll have a picture of Yvonne Garcia. 
as well it should. Absolutely. All right, so once again, um, I want to thank you both for coming. Congratulations, Yvonne. You definitely you. deserve it. And uh, I really look forward to this. This is great, and maybe we'll have you on um, in the future as well here on Urban Update. Great. Good job. Good thank job. You, both thank you very All much. All right. My next guest has been making violins for nearly 35 years. I'll tell you what made him start, and I'll tell you about his two concerts coming up right here. All the information on Urban Update.